Welcome to another great lesson in Illustrator. Today I'm going to show you how to create text on a path like this right here. Basically we're going to be doing a graphic similar to this. You're going to be creating one. So you're going to do text on a path. I'm going to show you how to create a brush. Um, I'm going to show you about the reshape tools, the warp tool, twirl, pucker, bloat. Those are all part of the reshape tools. And I'm going to show you how to duplicate a shape with the rotate tool so that you can get all these cool little circles here. So to get started, um, go ahead and open up Illustrator. We're going to name it Circles. And we're going to select Landscape. Make sure your unit is on inches. And it's going to be 11 inches wide and then 8.5 inches for the height. and you want to make sure that you save it in your illustrator folder so go to your period, go to your folder we're almost there, it's going a little slow, go to illustrator and save it in there Okay, first thing I'm going to show you is how to use the type tool. If you left click and hold, you'll see where it says type on a path. And you can see the other ones uh, that are in there. But we're going to use type on a path. So we'll select that. And then I'm going to use the pen tool here. And I'm going to draw out. So I'm going to draw out a path. And then once I have that, I can click the type on path and click on the path and I'm gonna put my name and I'll just put like technology 6k and I can put the date or you can put the date I won't put that alright so we'll highlight the text you can go up here to the top change the size of your text you can change the font to whatever change the color of it and basically you could have any kind of design for this text on a path. It's a really cool tool to use. You could use a shape and have your name around a shape. So go ahead and try that out. Put that in your uh, project here. Okay, next thing I'm going to show you is how to create a brush. We'll use the pen tool again. And you just want to create a little design doesn't matter what shape you make it alright so I just drew a little shape so I'm going to select it you can see the little boxes are around it go under brushes if you don't have that tab just go to window and brushes or you can press F5 and then down here next to the trash can you have this new brush button so while this is selected click new brush and then it says select a brush type click on new art brush and click OK and these are the art brush options you can change the direction so like when you use the paint brush which direction it'll go you can put it however um, you can change the size if you want to you can flip it and there's some colorization options I'm just gonna leave everything and click OK and then we can try it out so if we select the brush the paint brush make sure our art brush is on there we can left click and drag and now we have our own custom brush okay so that's pretty cool I'll leave that there we can use that later I'm gonna use the rectangle tool now I'm gonna draw it out I wanna show y'all the reshape tools under the warp tool if you left click and hold you'll see all of the reshape tools there's a twirl tool, pucker, bloat, scallop, crystallize, wrinkle all these can be used on different shapes to create really cool effects my favorite one is the twirl tool so I'm going to select that first go to each corner and left click and drag out and you can see that when you left click and hold and drag it gives you some kind of crazy like liquify effect if you don't like what you did you can just do control Z and try it again so I got some kind of crazy swirl 
Um, just go ahead and draw out some rectangles and try out the rest of these. This scallop one looks like it would be cool to make clouds. Um, you can use just tons of different stuff. Okay. So now we're going to get to the um, duplicating a shape with the rotate tool. And I'm going to use this shape that I've just made. So I'm going to hold shift and drag it in. Okay, so you want to select your shape. Then you click on the rotate tool here. And what you do is you left click and hold with the left mouse button. And while you're doing that, hold alt down and drag. And once you've done that, you'll notice that it duplicates it. Now, here's the fun part. Hold control down now and press D. Control D. Keep pressing that. And as you do that, you get some crazy circle. Select it. You just want to make sure you just select that. I'm getting this so I can move it out of the way. Here we go. So we'll select that. Go to object and group. And basically size it down and put it on the outside. Okay. And basically what you want to do in this exercise is you're going to create 10 circles with that same technique. So I'll go over it one more time. We'll select this one here and we'll change the color. I want each circle to be a different color. So select it. You know it's selected because you'll have the little boxes around it. Click the rotate tool. Then you left click with it and you hold down alt. So I'm left clicking, I'm holding it down, and I'm holding down alt and I'm moving my mouse. Okay, and if it does that, there we go. And then we can hit Control D to duplicate, and that'll give us a cool little design. And you want to highlight it, and go to Object and Group. And we could go back and we could change the stroke color, give it a stroke color, and you could go say to the stroke width here, and you could increase that to give it even a different appearance. So there's all sorts of things you want to do. So your end product is going to look like the first thing that I showed. So if we go to file, you basically, I'm going to look for that you have the path and that you have 10 different circles. And you want to overlap them, make them different sizes, make them all different colors, mess with the fill and the stroke. You can also use the gradient. And once you have all that finished, you are done. 10 circles, use the path tool, use all different kinds of shapes. Um, let me show you one other cool thing to do. With the line tool, this gives a good effect. If you drag down, drag across, make some kind of crazy line thing, and then go to object. Let's we'll see, we gotta select them all. Oops getting this up here. Let me move this out of the way. Okay. So we select this, go to object group, and then use the rotate tool like we've been doing. You know, left click and hold and then hold alt and then do shift D. And that'll give you a really cool design. And just do like we've done with the other two. Select it, object group. But try out different shapes. Um, you could do the pen tool, draw a pattern, but you all do it the same way with the rotate tool. And then once you have that, save your work and you are done. Thank you.